Okay, so I'm rewiring a hub motor. This is a crystal light hub motor and the wires melted. Uh, probably the controller was running too much current. So I'm rewiring this motor. I've taken the stator out of the hub. And so these are magnets here, permanent magnets. And here's all our phase coils. And uh, these are the wires I've inserted. So I like to use a two passes of a special Teflon coated wire to really fit as much wire as I can in this axle slot and make this the highest power hub motor it can possibly be. So now I'm doing the final connection, which entails, or the way I like to do it is I take the old connection. Okay, so I'm gonna shrink the heat shrink. Really a heat gun's better, but all I could find is this uh, match right now. So you can see that shrinking and that's my first layer of insulation. Okay, now my second layer is this uh, like fiberglass looking heat proof tubing. So I'll slide that over. It's a little tight, but it'll probably go. And good, now that connection the green wire connection's done, and I'll repeat for the other two remaining connections, and this hub motor rewire will be done. And put this plate over it, and it'll be finished. And then I'll be able to run my high-powered sensorless brushless controller that's probably gonna push 2,000, 2,500 watts through this crystal light hub motor.